The cause of infertility can be divided up as follows. Around 30% of cases are in the female partner. A further 30% of cases are in the male partner. An additional 30% is a combination of causes in the male and female partners. Around 10 to 15% are categorized as sterility of an unknown cause. The causes of sterility in women can be located in the ovaries, the uterus, the fallopian tubes, or in the genitals in general. The most frequent causes are, on the one hand, endometriosis. That is, the presence of uterine tissue outside its natural location. As well as causing painful periods and pelvic pain, endometriosis has an impact on fertility in women. Another frequent cause in women are ovulatory disorders. The ovary needs to release an egg periodically so that the egg can be fertilized and pregnancy can begin. Many women, however, only ovulate sporadically or simply do not ovulate at all. There are also hereditary reasons including Turner syndrome and other diseases that mean women are born with a decreased ability or total inability to conceive. We mustn't forget to mention causes within the fallopian tubes, the organ that joins the uterus to the ovary. The fallopian tubes play an essential role during in vivo fertilization and may have been damaged. This will be mainly a result of infections or inflammation. Last of all, we have the uterus. The uterus can also be the area of the body causing issues because the embryo needs to implant there. Malformations of the uterus, the after effects of interventions, and the after effects of infections can notably decrease the uterus's ability to host the embryo. Nowadays, the most significant or most frequent cause is, without a doubt, the decision to put off maternity until later in life. Women, either because they choose to do so or because they feel they have to, are putting off becoming mothers for longer and longer. It should be clearly pointed out that from 35 years of age, there is a constant decline in fertility rates, a decline that is drastic from 40 to 41 years of age onwards. Another factor to keep in mind is that quality of life, eating disorders, obesity or being extremely thin, smoking or consuming other toxins affect women's capacity to reproduce. That is why it is important that women always keep up a healthy lifestyle. Unlike women, where it is easier to determine the origin of the problem, it is much more elusive in men. Most issues in semen do not have a causal diagnosis. In other words, we do not know what the actual cause is. What we do know is that we are witnessing a decline both in the number and in the mobility of spermatozoa, and, therefore, in the fertile capacity of men. This decline has been confirmed on a worldwide scale. Chromosomal and genetic disorders play an important role within the known causes. There are pathologies in which a child is born with anomalies in the number or structure of its chromosomes, leading to an absence of spermatozoa production or a very diminished production. In some cases, If it is detected in time, sperm can be frozen before testicular activity ceases altogether. Other causes are the after-effects of infections or genetic disorders such as cystic fibrosis, where a child is born without a vas deferens. This is comparable to a prenatal vasectomy. Exposure to toxic substances also decreases male fertility. This may be obvious, but conception requires the intervention of two people. Therefore, interaction between partners is essential. In a couple where one of the two has an elevated capacity to have children, whilst the other is subfertile, one can compensate the other. Last of all, fertility studies do not always reveal the root cause of the issue. A basic analysis does not really give us a global insight, and, as a result, in vitro fertilization or laboratory techniques can sometimes actually give us an insight into the cause of the problem. This group of patients falls under the sterility heading unknown cause.